welcome back. And I must say, that was a very well-rendered creature, the Sharktopus. By the way, this is a Roger Corman film, number 394, in his long and varied career. And he made a cameo appearance, the 34th time he's been in one of his films, similar to Alfred Hitchcock making such cameo appearances. I had the high honor of interviewing Roger a few years ago, and I can say that he's still going strong with such films, yes. Now, on the rule scale, we're first magnitude's best, tenth magnitude worst. Sharkopus from 2010 garners a 3.75 rating, yes. Now for that trivia question. What do we call a group of sharks? Is that an unkindness, shiver, murder, or gang? And you say murder. No. It's a shiver of sharks. And for the record, you have an unkindness of ravens, murder of crows, and gang of elk, just in case you're ever on that millionaire show. Now, is it at all within the realm of feasibility that such a creature could exist? I submit to you that it is indeed possible. For example, in nature already we have, for example, the zonkey, which is the combination of a donkey with zebra stripes. Then we have the liger, a lion with lion stripes and other entities. And of course, throughout history, we have various mythological creatures. For example, in ancient Greece, they had the minotaur, who had a human body and the head of a bull. And in ancient Egypt, many of their gods and goddesses were hybrid creatures. For example, you had Anubis, who guided spirits of the dead to their final judgment. He had the head of a jackal. Then there was Horus. He had the god of day, who had the head of a hawk. Then there was Montu, the god of war, who had a falcon's head on a human body. And then there was Toth, the god of wisdom, who had the head of an ibis. Now, are these entities at all within the realm of feasibility? I submit they are, for example, through natural selection and interbreeding. We have some of these creatures already, such as the aforementioned Zonki and Liger, and of course many others. And, as in this film, genetic technology could create such entities. I point out that we have already deciphered not only the human genome, but the genomes of many other creatures. So, such experimentation and hybridization is certainly foreseeable in the future. As I've said before, today's science fiction is tomorrow's science. Already in the lab, they've created the Flavor Saver Tomato, which is a tomato that has flounder genes, giving it a bit of a fishy taste. And experiments are underway to add chicken genes to tobacco plants so we can grow chicken meat and no longer have to feed chickens. And human RNA, ribonucleic acid, has been injected into E. coli bacteria, making them more intelligent. And that's just the beginning. We're just on the fringes of such experimentation. And I point out that in 10, 20, or 30 years, the sharkopus could be created here. But consider alien genetic technology. I've suggested before that perhaps ancient Egypt was colonized by co-headed Martians who actually established that first civilization and that these various hybrid creatures there may have been the result of alien genetic technology. And for skeptics, I point out that, again, our universe is 13.7 billion years old, with at least 100 billion other galaxies in it beyond our Milky Way. Certainly, intelligent creatures may have tapped into genetic technology to create an entire array of bizarre creatures, including the Sharktopus. Now, Let's just look at one entry from the Vault of Strange Deaths. And it says, a new use for TP. And this pertains to an 18-year-old who was arrested in Edinburgh, South Texas, on drug charges. He was in his jail cell for just three hours when they found him dead. He had swallowed gobs of wet toilet paper, choking himself to death. Perhaps the most unusual case of suicide on record. And... Just three weeks previously, he was jailed on another charge, tried to hang himself, failed. But the toilet paper worked. How about that? Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos and of the sharkopus be with you. Yes! 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 And again, such creatures may exist throughout the cosmos.